All right, we work on the dog accepting the whole thing. We work on the duration of how long that they accept the whole thing on them for. And now step number three is we're going to start movement. I have my halty on, I have my security leash hooked up to my other buckle collar. Here is the key. Instead of hooking my leash to the halty right now, because we are not on that step. So the final step, the leash will be hooked right here to the circle ring. We are hooking it to our buckle collar or whatever you are used to walking your dog with, whatever collar that you use, that's the collar that you're gonna hook to. The only collar I will tell you do not hook to is a harness. Harnesses are made to distribute weight and teach a dog to pull, so it's completely counterintuitive to have a harness on your dog and then to have a halty on your dog. Uh, very different um, philosophies behind the collars. So I'm going to start my movement. I have my kibble in my pouch. The key to keeping the movement with the halty is to have your bait in your hand, your lure in your hand here, and you're just keeping the dog's head up and intermittently feeding them. Traditionally, the heel is always on the left-hand side. So that is what you're seeing here in the demonstration. If you drop a piece, the dog is not allowed to eat it off the floor. The goal of the next few practice, practice sessions for you is to get the dog acclimated with walking and wearing a whole thing. Right there you saw Goose lift up his leg because he's trying to multitask with this new device on his face. Anytime he goes to lift his leg up or put his head down, you'll see me use my leash and gently lift up. Remember to keep moving. It is extremely difficult for him to try to paw his nose and walk at the same time. So your goal is to have your food ready and just keep the walking motion. We're still practicing in a very controlled environment with minimal distraction. So you're not fighting a bunch of things at the same time. So he starts trying to paw at his mouth and I just lift up with my right hand I have my left hand ready and I'm just dispensing food the entire time. And drop food is not an option. So it takes a little bit of practice. I mean, I'm dropping food. So don't get frustrated. You just gotta cup your hand because he's still trying to maneuver himself with the tool on and eat and walk. Now I'm gonna take a little break, I'm gonna make a stop, help him to sit, and now I'm just gonna feed him in a stop sit position. You're gonna notice because we spent the first few sessions just him wearing it, that it might be easier in a soft position. He, he's not um, as prone to start pawing at it, right? Because we've already rewarded a few sessions in this picture. So if you just need to reset, reset yourself, reset the dog. And now we're gonna start walking again. I'm gonna load my hand. Heel. I go and I lift up the collar. No. 
No, sir. So I stay consistent. Yeah. Once the dog accepts the tool and also accepts the fact that the kind of the, the power distributes. From the dog wanting to do what it wants to do to the handler being able to make the majority of the decisions. That is the hardest breakthrough that we're trying to make. No. Good boy. So you will see some of this opposition normally around this session within the training. And don't go to the next step, don't rush it. If you need to take a step back and we need to do a few more duration sessions, no problem, go backwards and then get it worked out. Then you can move to walking again. And you might have to go back and forth from the steps. No, no. And give the dog a little bit more time. Good boy. Thank you. 